welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pole sit, also known as a pole seat. It looks a little something like this. Beginners, this one is for you. You can absolutely do it. Super easy. You want to make sure that your inner thigh is not sweaty. I don't know if you've been rocking out or anything already and you've got some sweat going on. Wipe your inner thighs because you need some grip right here, right here. Um, make sure your pole is not cold. If it's cold, you're more likely to slip. So you want warm poles. Um, so warm up the room, turn on the heating or just give it a bit of a rub down a little bit so that it, so that it can warm up and make sure you've got some short shorts on because if you've got long shorts on the fabric will make you slide and slip so you need that skin to pull action so make sure the shorts nice and itty bitty so we can get all this skin contacted with the pole i'm going to show you the way i do it there are a few different ways of doing this this is the way that's easiest for me so hopefully it helps you you want to be very close to the pole when you're doing this okay you're not back here you want to be nice and close, get up and personal. Stronger hand on top is what's usually advised. So for me, that's usually my right hand, although it's better to try this with both hands. So if you're trying it with the right first, make sure you give it a go with the left hand up high afterwards. So stronger hand up high, usually in line with your face, where your hands are. When you're going to pull up, you're going to make sure that you roll your shoulders back. So I call it the ugly foot. If I face you, I'm going to take my right leg, I'm going to bring it forward so my thigh is connected to the pole, and then I'm going to bring my foot round and try to sort of wrap it around the pole. As you can see, my toes can just about get past there. So this is what I call ugly foot. But this is how I find it's easiest to get into it Well, when I first tried this move. So I wrap my foot around, so thigh against the pole, pressed in nice and close, body pushed up against the pole, hands up high, wrap that right foot around the pole. You, some people may find that they can't get their toes around, it's perfectly normal. If you can get them around, if not, just get this foot as close as possible. Then what you're going to do is bring your left leg up and over. So I kind of see it like a locking in action. Your leg's going to come on top and over this leg. You're staying nice and close to the pole and you're squeezing with your inner thighs. So up and over, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's do that again. Nice and close to the pole, get familiar, hands on, grip round, sort of in line with your face. You're going to bring your right leg around, you're going to try and get those toes around the pole. Your inner thigh is connected to the pole and it's squeezing inwards. You're going to pull up as you roll your shoulders back, so you're really pulling yourself up with your arms and this left leg is going to go over your right leg and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now hold on, if this feels unsteady, hold on. If not, take one hand off, back on. Other hand off, back on. If you find that wrapping your foot around is painful in any way, or if it hurts your knee or anything like that, don't wrap it round. Just bring your foot to this side of the pole. So leg on this side, foot on the other side, okay? Same motion, same action, pull yourself up, and squeeze. Once you're in your pole sit and you want to try to stay here for a little bit longer than a few seconds and you feel ready to do so, try leaning forward. Le if not, you may find that you feel like you're falling backwards and it really plays on your core, but if you lean forward you feel a little bit more secure in the move and if you feel comfortable to, take your arms off and wrap them around your leg and in that position you feel quite secure. Keep squeezing whatever you do. In terms of progression, this is how I'm terming it. So, in terms of your feet, you have ugly foot. This is when you're first starting out, okay? No judgment, we, I start, this is where I started, okay? Humble beginnings. Ugly foot, no foot, or foot wherever you want it to be, no hands, okay? So, what I'm saying is, when you first start off, you may find that ugly foot feels quite secure. Once you're comfortable with that, no foot, so you don't need to wrap it round, or your foot can just be hanging literally here. And then once you feel even more comfortable, you can take your arms off or wrap them round in front, okay? So I'll show you those three things. So initially, starting out from the floor, I wrap my foot around, 
I get into it, I feel comfortable like this. Then I may take this leg off because I feel more comfortable. Then once I feel more comfortable, no hands. Those are my three steps for progression in terms of feeling comfortable in the move. My three steps for getting into it in a nice clean way are ugly foot, crab legs, straight legs. So ugly foot, you start from the floor, you wrap your leg round in order to get into it and as we just did, you put your other leg over. Once you've moved on from that, other way is you don't need to do that sort of prepping motion. You just bring your legs straight into the move so you know that one is lower, one is higher and that other one locks the leg in. So you'll just pull up and you sort of bring your bent legs into the position like so. Okay? That's what I call crab legs into it. Then, once you pass that and you're like, got this, that's when you go on to straight legs. So, same thing, but you're just going to start with your legs from the floor and you're going to bring them straight up and then bend them into the move. So it just looks a bit pretty, it looks a bit cleaner. Okay, so same thing with your arms, up nice and high, shoulders back, and up into your move you go. You can also do this move from a climb, so if you know how to climb, great. Try one climb and then go into your pulse sit. Maybe just do one small climb to begin with if you're a little bit unsure with it so you're not too high up, and then go straight into it as we did. So you'll be in this position, and then you swing your legs around. So your legs, it's not coming from the floor as before, you're pushing from your legs, squeezing into the pole, really holding on with these arms because you haven't got the ground to help you, and then you're swinging your legs into it. My takeaway tips for this move. Um, if the insides of your legs are feeling sweaty, dry hands. Dry hands or liquid chalk. Just a tad, give it a rub, give it a rub. It will absorb all of the moisture and then it will help to grip a little bit more. When you're in the move, try and tilt. When you're leaning forward, tilt your hips rather than trying to be completely upright. I sometimes find that tilting feels a little bit easier. See how you feel, give it a go. It will hurt. It will hurt. If you're not used to inner thigh squeezing moves like hang backs or pulse it, if you're new to it, it's gonna hurt. Completely normal. You get used to the feeling and once you've got used to it, it's a very good thing. There's many other moves that are going to come which revolve around this squeeze right here that you need. So yeah, just embrace it, feel the pain and do it anyway. Finished! That's it. It's over. That's it. It's over. <laughs> That's it. Um, that, that's your pulse it. So, woohoo, well done, well done. Uh, let me know how you get on. Let me know how you find it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my goodness, I haven't got any presents. Is the trick Christmas tree even up? <laughs> Literally, but anyway, I've decided to open the doors and let you guys in to my life yes and i'm going to share my daily runnings with you in the lead up to christmas i mean forget netflix